Welcome, welcome, welcome. We made it through another week. Oh my goodness, I can't believe it. Marcel, Marcel, should we tell them? Should we tell them? Man, I know I said this last week, but we got we got an amazing, amazing show for you guys. I'm so excited. I mean, we have special guests from far, from, I'm talking like 14 hours away. And uh, I just wanted to say what's up and thank you guys for all these weeks since the beginning, right? Since the beginning, all the tech difficulties we've had, so many things that have gone on and you've stuck by, you've been watching, you've been dancing along to our virtual dance parties. It means so much. Let's see how Marcel's doing. Marcel, are you doing good? Is everything going good? Should we tell them about what's going on today? Should we get them ready? Marcel's yes says yes, we should get them ready. All right, so we're gonna, Marcel, should we get, we gotta, we gotta start the show, all right? So uh, comment. Let me know where you guys are from, okay? Don't listen to Marcel. Let me know where you guys are from. Comment, put them right in the comments. Um, uh, you know what? Let's see how Mar let's see how uh, Mr. Table. So, Mr. Table, are you excited about today's show? Let me see. Oh, he's excited. <laughs> he's excited. He's taking a silly face. All right, sweet. All right, sweet, sweet, sweet. Oh man. So you know. It was a crazy week last week. We had the great Charlini in. He's like the king of vaudeville, you know? And um, uh, we got to see some slapstick magic, learn some magic tricks with magnets. And, um, you know, this week we got a special thing. We're, we're gonna, oh, there's some people coming in. David, San Diego, Long Beach. Sherry, thank you so much for joining us. Graziella, Georgia, so good to see you guys. Whitson and Giuseppe, you guys are watching back there on your couches. So nice to see you today. Happy Friday to all of you guys. If you want, parents, right now is a great time to get your supplies that we're gonna need to build our magic trick. So we're gonna need um, a lunch bag, a clear Ziploc bag too, and scissors and tape. So a paper lunch bag, a clear Ziploc bag, scissors and tape. We are building an awesome, awesome magic trick. Hello, hello Vienna, Austria. So welcome, welcome. Charles Halleck, the great Charlini's tuning in from last week's special guest, Wasabi, the great Charlini, fantastic. David, good to see you on here. San Diego, Grand Rapids, Michigan, Nathan. Thank you so much for tuning in again. Kritika, hi. Yes, nice to see you too. Thank you so much. So let's get those let's get those supplies ready. Later on, we're gonna um, uh, rock that out. And I want to tell you guys. I don't know if you remember. A couple weeks a couple weeks ago, we had a great guest. We had Jay Moss, and he was talking about robot companions. And also during virtually Maker Fair, which was awesome, he did he was on there too. We talked about we talked about all kinds of cool stuff, robots and making. And um, there he is, Jay Moss. My son Bear, my five-year-old son, he's been making robots out of cardboard for like three weeks. He sees the interview with Jay Moss, and I see him on my porch trying to put a robot on his shoulder like Jay. Check this out. There he is. I, put, I had to make a little custom backpack strap, but Jay, Jay Moss, if you're watching right now, man, I just wanted to say thank you because here's a picture of just that interview that we did and how Bear got impacted by it. I can't imagine all the other kids that were watching learning about robotics and how to have a robot companion. So there you go, Jay. I hope you check that out. I hope you think you dig that. Um, so, I, you know, I was thinking about it during the week. You know, how do we homeschool? You know, there's all kinds of ways. And uh, this week I decided to do a little flick for you guys to see. We were, le we were learning about Dr. Patricia Bath, and she's an inventor and a super, super smart genius. And she came up with something that changed the world. She came up with something that for people that had cataracts, that a machine that shoots lasers that can remove the cataracts and heal them. So uh, I want you guys to check out this clip and you can learn a little bit about Dr. Patricia Bath. Check this out. So we're gonna learn about someone today, someone really special. This person here, that is Dr. Patricia E. Bath. Dr. Patricia E. Bath. And she invented something crazy. I want you to go like this. Cover your eyes like this, so you can't see. Can you see anything? No. Turn to the right. Can you see anything? Turn to the left, can you see anything? Okay, good. Now I want you to open your hands and take them away. Can you see everything? Yes. She invented a machine that can make people who can't see to see again. So there's this thing called cataracts, right? Have you ever seen an animal that has cloudy eyes sometimes over their eyes? Maybe like they get old and they, they can't see very well? I saw a cat that is blind. 
that is blind. Okay, their eyes looked a little different, right? As if there was clouds over it. She invented this crazy machine. It looks like this, check it out. It shoots precision lasers to take out the clouds from your eyes so you can see again. Cover your eyes again like this. Cover your eyes like this, okay? And then, give me a sad face, okay? Take out your hands and a big smiley face. And check this out, this is really cool. This is my favorite thing that she said. It says, believe in the power of truth. Do not allow your mind to be imprisoned by majority thinking. Remember that the limits of science are not the limits of imagination. What does that mean to you? Like, when you create something in your mind, it's not always created in the world. That's a great answer, Gigi. Give me five. That's exactly it. When you create something in your mind, it's not created in the world, dude. That's the beauty of being alive. Our mind is the most important thing we have, and we have the ability to create things that have not existed yet, and that's exactly what she's talking about. Get lost in your imagination, things that don't exist, just like she did. She created this mega machine that changed the world. Say it with me, ready? Dr. Patricia E. Bath. Fantastic, guys. We learned something new today. Pretty cool, right? Pretty cool. So every week I've been trying to focus on an inventor and what they've done to contribute to the world. And what a powerful contribution. It's amazing how many helpers there are in our communities, in our worlds, and inventors. And later on we talked about patents, how when you have an invention, you get a patent and that helps protect your invention so you can pursue your dreams. And, and I, you know, this week I was searching on the web and I came across this crazy funny video. I can't wait for you to see it. And I had to hunt this person down 14 hours away. Uh, this is a 14 hour away time zone from where we live out in New York. And, uh, and I'm not gonna say much about it because I'm super excited. I love people that are eccentric. I love people that are eccentric. And he is the definition of that. And um, uh, hey, oh yeah, so yeah, this is, this is what it's about. It's about how can we take different things and get inspired by them, you know? And uh, we're gonna do our dance party later. It's gonna be awesome. We're gonna learn our magic tricks. But I want you guys to watch this video because this is amazing. You know, we've been going through this pandemic and we're learning how to live in a new way. We've been stuck at home and all this stuff. And then I come across this crazy clip. Check this out. <laughs> Jodo. That's right, Carol. Mad skills. And Mike Sinisi, you are my inspiration, okay? Because I watch how you make pizza from scratch, and it's absolutely amazing. <laughs>
<laughs> oh man so what did you think of that isn't that amazing i love when makers they see what's going on in the world and they make something and it could be something funny it could be something inspirational it could be something that brings us happiness you know and uh, and that's what the pretty amazing did i see this clip i lose my mind i'm like this guy's a genius we're all trying to stay six feet away he builds a robot claw <laughs> <laughs> like so he can so he can pay for thing you know um so i hunted down it's difficult it was crazy it took a long time to find this guy yeah and and you know i i once i locked it in when you wait till you see his maker space that he has in his garage and wait till you see the other projects that he has the pretty amazing Jono, dude. I'm so excited about this guest. He's absolutely hilarious. And yes, Carol Hamburger, that's correct. Mad skills it is. And that's just the beginning, all right? You know what? I think, what do you think? Let me ask Mr. Table. Let me ask Mr. Table. Mr. Table, is it time for our special guest? Let me see what Mr. Table says. He said, what is this face? Well, maybe I should ask politely. Mr. Table, is it really, is it time for our special guest? Let me see. No, nope, he's still not having it. You know what I'm gonna say? It is definitely time for our special guest. I want to welcome the pretty amazing Jono. Hi, how are you? Welcome. <laughs> from Australia. I'm just so excited to be in your workshop. This is amazing. I've been really enjoying the downtime from shows because I get to play around in here and just try and come up and do all those ideas on the list that I never had time to do. So I'm like, <laughs> I mean, right off the bat, I have to ask you, you have a hat that says F-A-R-T-S. I can't continue this interview without you explaining to me what am i looking at this is my new prototype it's called the ufart or the U ultrasonic facial awareness and response <laughs> tactical shield this is it here Ooh. now this is a little ultrasonic sensor it's like a bat signal almost right like it tells the distance yeah. of the computer and i thought because we when we're going out and about as the world opens up again uh, we still have to be careful about our distance with people. So I thought, how about we do that digitally? So you put this little bit here. Oh, so stylish. As a prototype, it's potentially... <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, okay! <laughs> There's still some problems with us. So I'm still working on the... Oh, okay! Whoa. This, this is like a fart hat that farts. Fire? <laughs> It does keep people away from you if they get too close. Warning! <laughs> warning! Oh, okay. It's up. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh, I had an illustration so you could see what it's like. If, oh, sorry, I panicked. Uh, oh, there we go. <laughs> what would be they, uh, maybe uh, think uh, we should be avoiding? So I prepared one of these. Go up there. Thank you. Okay. Oh my goodness! This is our virus. Oh Ooh. my goodness. Oh, it's down. You're back. <laughs> the pretty amazing Jono, man. This is incredible, dude. It's also very practical. If you like, you know how you're out and you still isolate, don't want to meet certain people. Fake moustache, disguise, <laughs> glasses, boom. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's someone I don't want to talk to. I am completely disguised. <laughs> Nobody knows who I am. It's amazing. You know how people sneeze, you should protect you from the sneezing. I've got right, right. synthetic snot. Now, it, uh, <laughs> you said, look, it's dancing. It's got a little boogie in it. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to test the snot, you do need a sneeze replicator, which I, I don't have as someone to sneeze at me. That's very unsafe. So I've created, this is called the snot put. The you know, snot put. So you have replica sneeze snot, and then you have something that shoots snot at you, so you can yeah. test your fart hat. This is, I mean, guys. That's just the way it works. Because you taught me how to do Tinkercad, right? You taught me so much cool stuff, and it's really managed me to, like, totally blew up my invention world, all these things I've been trying to do. I usually just use mouse traps and gaff tape, 
but now I mean, this is amazing. I mean, the idea you took off with it, Jono. I mean, this is insane. We just need to uh, attach this here, place that there, and now I'm gonna just put some synthetic in there. <laughs> Stay down. Okay, here we go. I'm a little tired. Let's go. The first bit moves away. So, okay, go back. Lock it in. Okay, here we go. Oh! <laughs> oh <this is> great. <laughs> Keep doing what you're doing, man, because it's making people smile all the way across the globe. You're in, where are you? Newcastle, Australia? In Australia, totally. I should be upside down. I'm like, ooh. 14 hour difference, 14 hours. And you're make, you're inspiring people all the way out in New York. This stuff is all so doable. Like I remember being a kid and just going, trying to figure things out and not, not you know, just use, ripping things apart and pulling out motors and trying to make gadgets and booby trap doors and not having the kind of access to knowledge like we do now. And if yeah. you do something, it's just so easy to find out. Like you don't have to know and you don't have to be the best. You just have to enjoy it and have a go until it works and use what you have. I am so grateful. Thank you so much. I can't wait for, to one day work together with you. I hope that you come out to the, to the New York City area or, or that we do a maker fair together or something. That would be my this bucket list for sure. I would love that. Yes. You've been so yes. to me and it just, oh man, it means a lot to hang out with you a little bit and all your cool friends on Facebook. I love it. Thank, Thank you. Me. Pretty amazing, Jono. Thank you so much for being part of the show today. You have inspired me and all I can say is thank you. I mean, come on. How amazing was that? How amazing was that? It's like we're 3D printing face shields, you know, all the time. And I never thought to like make a motorized face shield. And the part where he puts the disguised mustache on the shield. I mean, this kind of stuff inspires me so much. It's like puppetry. It's like magic. It's like slapstick comedy all thrown together. And the pretty amazing Jono you know, he's from Newcastle, Australia, and he's killing it there. You know, he brings such great laughter and joy to kids all over that, all over Australia. It's, it's amazing. If you look him up, check out his YouTube videos, check him out. He's a powerful performer that's not only performing magic for fun to make people excited about magic, but he's like, he's letting kids, he's letting kids leave with this idea that they can be makers too and inventors too. And that's why, that's why I'm trying to tap in once a week learning about uh, new inventors, you know, because we, we are all makers. We are all makers and it doesn't matter what level you are at you can create amazing things with simple objects. And that's why I became a magician. I saw someone balancing a spoon on their nose, a little spoon. And I was like, man, I've been using a spoon for like my whole life. You know, the idea of balancing a spoon on my nose, I'm like, yeah, I could do that. And then I try and it's completely impossible. You cannot just balance a spoon on your nose. You know, you have to start with a long broomstick. I had to get a book on balancing things. And from the broomstick, you start cutting that broomstick shorter and shorter as you get good at it. And eventually, if you're lucky and you stick to it, you can eventually balance a spoon on your nose. It's pretty amazing. And then you have this ordinary object that everyone uses and you can actually do something supernatural with it. You can just grab a spoon and balance it. And you know what else he did when I first saw that? It was the great Charlie Fry, this amazing magician that did that. And when I saw that, he balances the spoon on his nose, tilts his head, and then the spoon lands perfectly behind his ear and he walks away. And I'm like, ah! you know, that's like, it's what I live for, like taking ordinary objects and doing something extraordinary with it. And the pretty amazing Jono, man, pretty amazing, absolute genius Jono. It was so awesome to have the pretty amazing Jono um, on the show. And you know, this is about the time that we have to learn our lesson. And the people that are still here, man, I thank you. This is, listen, I get you have your maker tools out because we have an awesome magic trick. This is something that will fool audiences. It'll make people laugh. It's done with everyday objects. It is time to get your maker tools.
All right. Welcome to my Volkswagen bus, 1971 Transporter 2. Gigi, give me five, dude. Thank you for helping me. How are you feeling? Good. You're feeling good. Fist bump. Awesome. All right, here we go. All right, Gigi, I have three paper balls. I have a newspaper. You can examine them. One is red tissue paper. One is a newspaper. One is a, a white loose leaf piece of paper. Okay, all three here. And what do I have here? What is this? A paper bag. And I'm going to read your mind with the paper bag, okay? I'm going to put the red one in there. The newspaper one in there. The white one in there. I want you, without looking, stick your hand in there, take one out. I'm going to turn around, not peek what it is, and then you're going to sit on it. And I'm going to read your mind. All right, put your hand in there. I'm not looking. Stick your hand. Don't peek. Just stick your hand in there. Take one out. I am not looking at all. And sit on it. Awesome. Did you get one in there? You did? Okay. I'm going to read my, your mind. Are you ready? Focus on what you took. Okay, you got it? All right, pretend you're holding it in your hand and throw it to me. Yeah, I got it. Oh. See? Ow! The newspaper. <laughs> Is that the one you took? How did you do that? <laughs> Isn't that pretty cool? Here, put it in the back quick. Put it in the back quick. I'm gonna shake it up. I'm not gonna look. Stick your hand in there. Don't peek. I'm not peeking. Don't peek. Take something out. Take another one out. Sit on it right now. I don't want to see it. I'm closing the lid. I do not care. Pretend you're holding it in your hand invisibly like this. Throw it to me. Got it. Oh, wait a second. Did you take the newspaper again? Yeah. <laughs> I'll teach you the secret. It's pretty cool. You could use any objects. You could use an apple, a pear, and an orange. You could use different colored potatoes. I don't know. And then check it out. This bag, at the beginning, do you remember this? I showed you the bag. Do you remember? Like that? And then I open it up. Well, check it out. When I show the bag like this, I have something I'm hiding. Isn't that crazy? I actually built a little window. And when you take one out, I told you not to look, right? You're sitting on it. When I see you looking away, I look at the back. I see the red one in there, and I see the newspaper in there. So I know which one is the one you're holding. You're the magician now. Say, I'm Gigi the magician. I'm Gigi the magician. Okay, give me the first ball. Say, this is a, this is a um, plain paper ball. Plain paper. Give it to me, I'll examine it. Yep, and then what is this? A newspaper ball, all right. And this one? A red tissue paper ball. Cool. And then you're going to put them in the bag. Go ahead. All right. All right. And then what do you want me to do? I want you to pick one. Okay. All right. So don't look. Turn around. Completely turn around. All right. And what do you want me to do with it? You want me to sit on it, right? All right. I'm going to get it. I'm going to sit on it. Imagine it. <laughs> imagine I'm holding it? Yes. All right. Imagine I'm holding it. All right. Got it. You got the one that's made out of white paper. <gasps> no. JJ, you did it! Give it five! That was amazing! What do we need? You just need a plain brown paper bag, like a lunch bag, some tape, some scissors, and your Ziploc bag, and then for me, I chose to make three different papers. So I have a piece of newspaper, some red tissue, and a plain white loose leaf. So I'm gonna stick my hand underneath, and I'm gonna make a little fold, like a little pinch, okay? And the reason why I'm doing that, because I don't want to get cut, so you're just gonna snip like that, and all of a sudden now you have a little slit there. So now it's easy for you to cut your little window. See that? Go all the way around just like that. And what I do is I like stopping right below this crease here. So that means when it's folded up, I'll get to see. You won't be able to see the window. Whatever you put in there is pretty much going to fall out. So we have to seal it up. And that's where the Ziploc bag comes in. Fold this up like this. Okay, so here's your window. And you're going to take your window and you're going to cut to match. Next, we're gonna tape this on. I'm using this tape so that you can see it. If you do it at home, use scotch tape so it'll be more invisible. And then this is it. You take this part here and you're gonna fold it you're gonna fold it over like that. This is the strong part of the trick. You're showing both sides of the bag, but, but without showing both sides of the bag. So look, 
you talk about, you say you have a brown paper bag, you have a lunch bag. So you show it empty, turn it around, and open up the bag. Okay? And now, you're ready to rock and roll. See? Just like that. And, and that's it. I'm excited to see how you guys will perform it. Remember, you don't have to use these particular objects. You can use any kind of object you'd like that fits inside, all right? And what helps with the misdirection is having them pretending they're holding it. And as they look down is when you peek at the window to see what's missing. Enjoy! I gotta get back to the attic. I'll see you guys in a minute. Come on, isn't that pretty cool? That's pretty cool, right? You know, I first saw that published, I think it was in Mark Wilson's Course in Magic. I see David Rezegui is on here. David, you're right, he's got a version with colored ping pong balls, that's correct. And then from there, I was thinking, how do I home make this? And the Ziploc pad came into play, and then the, the different colored papers, like newspaper, tissue paper, and try to make it into a simple magic trick that you can make at home that's accessible. But yeah, David's right. You should look it up on uh, on the Mark Wilson's Course in Magic. I see some people, yes, Bertrand from France, so nice to join us, and thank you so much. And uh, you know, we started this whole uh, Friday thing, you know, once everything shut down. That was um, like over nine weeks ago, you know. I went from working theaters, touring America in our bus, you know, in our bus and in our Airstream, and then coming home and losing four months of work in three days, you know, and it was it was kind of crazy. And, you know, um, and, and, and then we started this with Make, and it was such a golden, beautiful ticket for us, and that we got to bring bring it home to kids all over watching. And the reason why I bring it up is because we, I just started playing my guitar and doing a dance party, you know? And, uh, and then we had kids, whoever's watching, kids to comment, uh, a, an animal, a funny food, um, an animal doing something funny, like flying in the sky, eating sushi, you know, something crazy. And then I'm gonna sing about it. So. What I want you guys to do, if there's kids watching right now, this is only the gift for the people that are watching live right now, but if there's yeah. kids, I will shout your names out during the songs, comment your kids' names. I want all the kids right now to grab their invisible dancing shoes. Grab your invisible dancing shoes, put them on your feet, and stand up because it is time for a dance party. Fantastic, fantastic. I see some comments already. This is for the kids that are watching live right now. We're gonna do a straight dance party. I'm so excited. I have I have actual um, uh, my harmonica. I've been learning how to play harmonica. So kids, oh, I see Lily and Gary with unicorn sneezing glitter. That's a great start. Let's see which kids can jump up the highest. <laughs> Let's do it. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> All right, McKinley, here we go. Hi, Will, hello, Will, how you doing? It's good to see you here. Lily and Gary, unicorn, sneezing glitter, that's just disgusting. Oh, McKinney wants to sing about a purple bunny, I think that's just weird and cool. And that's what makes Maker Fair awesome and everyone jumping around. It means everything, even Oh, Iris and Ellie, how you doing today? Kids, you're sleeping in France. I hope you're okay. I see Randy Scott, but his comment is not there yet. I'm just excited, because there's kangaroos. Yeah, you got to jump, jump, jump up and down. I say jump, jump, jump all around. I say jump, jump, jump up and down. Quentin from Brooklyn. What's up, Quentin? Good to see you on here. Cute cat midges. That's awesome. Wolverine doing push-ups. That's insane. I can't imagine a Wolverine doing push-ups, but you know there are bunnies eating smelly cheese. There are bunnies eating smelly cheese. We got two minutes left. Let's see who can jump up and down. Here we go! Sneeze 
these masks and snot shooters. That sounds disgusting. Sneeze, mask, snot shooters. Try to say it with me. Sneeze, mask, snot shooters. I already messed it up. <laughs> Funny eating smelly cheese. I think it's time to jump and play the harmonica. Out. Play blade shooters flying up in the sky Turtles swimming up in the air I don't know why And I'm a little off key and that's okay That's the punk rock in me I say we do it one more time And we just jump, jump, jump up and down I say jump Felix, hello Felix Yeah <laughs> Dot eating milk Dot eating milk! Jump, jump, jump up and down with bats eating bagels. I think that sounds awesome right now. It's hot in New York City and it's seriously crap from Bohemia Jump Shot. I think we gotta jump, jump, jump up and down. I say jump, jump, jump all around. I say jump, jump, jump up and Jump all around. Oh man, all the kids watching, you guys jumping up and down, it means the world to me. We started our dance party nine weeks ago when everything was shut down, and I said, I'm not gonna do a magic trick, I'm gonna dance. And you guys have been dancing with me every week, it means so much. I'm Mario the Maker Magician. We had the pretty amazing Jono. Big round of applause for him. Thank you so much for joining us this week. Have an amazing weekend. Until next time, all right? I think I'm gonna play the guitar and hum it to myself. Take care, okay? Bye-bye. Jump.